rather than love, than money, than fame, give me truth. I learned this, at least, by my experiment, that if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams, and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with the success unexpected in common hours. How vain it is to sit down to write when you have not stood up to live. The question is not what you look at, but what you see. Dreams are the touchstones of our characters. I find it wholesome to be alone the greater part of the time. To be in company, even with the best, is soon wearisome and dissipating. I love to be alone. I never found the companion that was so companionable as solitude. If you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost, that is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. Books are the treasured wealth of the world and the fit inheritance of generations and nations. Do not be too moral. You may cheat yourself out of much life so. Aim above morality. Be not simply good, be good for something. All good things are wild and free. If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music he hears, however measured or far away. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately. Our life is frittered away by detail. Simplify, simplify. Read the best books first, or you may not have a chance to read them at all. Live in each season as it passes, breathe the air, drink the drink, taste the fruit, and resign yourself to the influence of the earth. I would rather sit on a pumpkin, and have it all to myself, than be crowded on a velvet cushion. Disobedience is the true foundation of liberty. The obedient must be slaves. The greatest compliment that was ever paid me was when one asked me what I thought and attended to my answer. As if you could kill time without injuring eternity. Nothing makes the earth seem so spacious as to have friends at a distance, they make the latitudes and longitudes. I was not born to be forced. I will breathe after my own fashion. Let us see who is the strongest. Things do not change, we change. There is no remedy for love but to love more. A man is rich in proportion to the number of things which he can afford to let alone. Read the best books first, or you may not have a chance to read them at all. To be awake is to be alive. I have never yet met a man who was quite awake. Be resolutely and faithfully what you are, be humbly what you aspire to be. Life in us is like the water in a river. I find it wholesome to be alone the greater part of the time. To be in company, even with the best is soon wearisome and dissipating. I love to be alone. I never found the companion that was so companionable as solitude. Nay, be a Columbus to whole new continents and worlds within you, opening new channels, not of trade, but of thought. When I hear music, I fear no danger. I am invulnerable. I see no foe. I am related to the earliest times, and to the latest. I was not born to be forced. I will breathe after my own fashion. Let us see who is the strongest. I can alter my life by altering my attitude. He who would have nothing to do with thorns must never attempt to gather flowers. Pursue some path, however narrow and crooked, in which you can walk with love and reverence. I am grateful for what I am and have. My thanksgiving is perpetual. It is not worth the while to let our imperfections disturb us always. So simplify the problem of life, distinguish the necessary and the real. Probe the earth to see where your main roots run. Books are the treasured wealth of the world and the fit inheritance of generations and nations. Our life is frittered away by detail. Simplify, simplify. As you simplify your life, the laws of the universe will be simpler, solitude will not be solitude, poverty will not be poverty, nor weakness weakness.